Hello everyone, and welcome to my first episode of, well, just practicing Pokemon in preparation for Indy. So, I'm gonna be heading to the Indianapolis Regionals in 19 days, and I'm hoping to bring this big lug, Reggie Drago, in and see how well I can do. Uh, I've got a couple practice tournaments in between then, and, well, I've done the best I can to practice. But there's one thing that I haven't got a chance to practice. The online ladder outside of Pokemon Showdown. I've done lots of Showdown stuff. So, here we have my six Pokemon, and I will be... that's Duskull. And I will quick be <laughs> reviewing them. Just to, just to give you an idea of what all is going on. So here we have the star of the team, Reggie Drago. Reggie Drago's purpose is simple and quite powerful. It comes in and it blows stuff up. That is all it does. It is obscenely powerful, very strong, about as strong as Kyogre and its water spout with dragon energy. All we have to do is keep it safe and healthy, which that's easier said than done. Then we have Landorus, one of the team's premier attackers. Landorus is an anti-physical mon and very anti-sun, because it has the ability Intimidate, and it has ground and rock type moves as well as uh, a flying type move that turns into max airstream to help boost speed in a pinch. So it has about everything it could need. Then we have Tornadus, one of the most important Pokemon <laughs> on the team. It is almost always going to be some form of lead with Tailwind to just boost my speed, but then also Icy Wind t and Taunt to help ruin the, the opposing team's Pokemon, because we need to be very careful, <laughs> especially when handling Reggie Drago. Then we have Zacian. Uh, Zacian is, of course, the strongest Pokemon in the game, and we've got Iron Head and Sacred Sword, the two most common moves. Um, actually, that's something I'd like to change. I would like Play Rough instead. So, th this is something that's going to happen a lot. There's going to be a lot of small changes to the team. Alright. So, Zacian is an Imprison Zacian. So, by using Imprison, we can shut off the uh, opposing Zacian's most powerful moves, especially Behemoth Blade, and shutting off all Protect for the entire game. Then we have Rotom, who is my rain answer with Hydro Pump, Will-O-Wisp, Thunderbolt, and Protect. He's a little bit of a nuisance, um, very hard to handle, and kind of a retired veteran, because Rotom isn't supposed to be prominent anymore but I have found plenty of success using them. And finally, we have a Life Orb Eveltal with an unfinished moveset, because I'm not entirely sure what to do. But for now, the important moves it has, it has Oblivion Wing, it has Heat Wave to be able to hit opposing Zacian, it has Snarl for anti and Deity, and it has Sucker Punch, which generally just finishes Pokemon off. I think it might be better to put Dark Pulse on in place of Snarl, but then I just feel a little bit scared of um, the Trick Room Follow Me, uh, because Snarl combined with Drago's Dragon Energy can one-shot an Ndidi Palkia combo. So, there you have it. This very sketchy and difficult to use team that I have a lot to learn still and actually before we get started I'm gonna quick apply some PP ups to some moves 
and I will see you all back in just a moment. Welcome to the beginner tier. This is going to be where we just get started. I mean, I've never really done this before, so there's not much else that I can do. I just need to buckle up and jump right in. Alright, there we go. An opposing trainer against Eli, rank number three. Oh boy. Okay, I see Eternatus and I see Tyrantrum. Um, so, and Reggie Drago also has the surprise ancient power against Shedinja. So, we've got a strong matchup here with Tornatus Landorus. And then Drago, and I'd say Zacian in the back. It's probably for the best. Um, we just really have to be careful of that, uh, that Zacian. That is honestly the scariest thing on their team. But as long as we can play around that, which I think will be fine, then I'm going to do my best. Hopefully they don't bring Shedinja fearing evil at all. Snorlax, Zacian, perfect. Alright, so they immediately lose their attack boost so they can't KO us. Do we think they're going to protect? Sadly, I do think they are going to protect. But I think it might be in our best interest to still Tailwind Earthquake. Um, because that'll at least start us off with some big damage on two of the- ooh. Snorlax is going to Gigantamax. Because we know that Zacian can't. Um, okay. Looks a little scary. Uh, does Earthquake KO Zacian here? It does not, but it gets very close. So, Tornadus will live the turn. Thank God. Okay, we have a bulky Tornadus because it doesn't need... Okay, then this doesn't even do enough to KO. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So here, I can... Icy Wind, Earthquake. No need to do much fancy. Um, I... Because... Zacian is their only answer to Reggie Drago here. I am trying to play towards a Reggie Drago endgame under Tailwind. Um, it's a little sketchy, but I think we can pull this off. Okay, so they're going to go for another Replenish, which as we know does not KO Landorus. Good, a Tornadus will go down. Okay. Okay. They don't have much for Drago anymore. So I think our best play is to have Reggie Drago under Tailwind in case they go Eternatus or Tyrantrum. And if they bring out Shedinja, we can Ancient Power. Okay, perfect. Because Eternatus, fortunately, will not outspeed. And I can go for... Do I bother going for a fly? I could go for the fly and then hit on the next turn when Dynamax ends. Because I'm under Tailwind, so it should allow me to dodge an attack. And then this Oko's Eternatus. Perfect. Perfect. 
<laughs> Got the avoid. Okay. So then their Dynamax is going to end. Uh, do we see Shedinja or Tyrantrum in the back? Shedinja. Okay. So this is as simple as uh, just popping Ancient Power and then whatever move left on Landorus. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be Sash or Goggles, but it shouldn't matter because we do have the Ancient Power. Okay, it's Sash. But another Ancient Power and or Rock Slide should more than do it. Okay. That is annoying. Luckily, we can just two turn here. And that's game. Alright! Game one starting off with a win. Good to see. It's a good omen. <laughs> I know we're in beginner tier, so I shouldn't worry too much, but I gotta make sure. Gotta make sure that I'm always at my A game. Okay. Continue battling. It's going to take time for the update. Okay. Looks like a uh, third of the way towards the end of beginner tier. So I say we do three battles maybe? Ooh, rank one, Baba Goku. Okay. Ooh. This is scary. Um... So, I don't think I even bring bother bringing Tornadus here. I think we go for Eveltal next to Landorus with Zacian. Is Drago worth it in the back? Drago might be worth it in the back, because all they have is Stack Attack, -a, Carbink, and then Shedinja goes down anyway. Uh, but we don't have Tailwind, so I'm actually leaning towards Rotom. Because worst comes the worst, we can use Will-O-Wisp on Shedinja. So I am predicting uh, Inteleon and um, Colossal on lead. Audino Carbink. Okay, this is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> um, so, good to see that they have some tricks. Uh, it's a very passive lead. I don't want Eveltal out in front of Carbink, and I think I just go for... Probably Swords Dance, because neither of them have Prankster, and I outspeed them both. And that'll just put me in a better position for later. I could max Landorus here. And get off an Airstream or two. Skill Swap. They're going for Sturdy Shedinja. And they have Trick Room. I have Will-O-Wisp. Oh, thank God. Okay, so Carbink is going to come in here. Uh, or Carbink's going to switch out into... Um, into Shedinja. And Audino is going to go for a skill swap. So we can afford to... Yep, here we go. Get the Will-O-Wisp off, and hopefully it's not Lumberry. Uh, I think Goggles makes the most sense. Entrainment. Ooh, that's even worse than Skill Swap. 
Okay. But... Luckily, it should die to burn. And I don't... We definitely can't take out the Audino on this turn. But we can get some good damage off. Should Ninja endure the hit, but Burn takes it out. Thank God we countered that. I didn't even think about that. I, I didn't even look at the Pokemon and think that I, I would see a sturdy Shedinja today. Oh God. Okay. So, Stack Attacka. I think our best bet is to try to double into it with okay so that means we've seen all their pokemon they have no restricted nothing super threatening anymore stack attack is their biggest threat because all they have left is aldino and carbink after that okay and they're going to max their stack attack so ooh, i don't have sacred sword on zacian anymore for those who watch the intro um stack attack might be a bit of a nuisance i'm hoping they're just going for a steel spike max guard is honestly fine too i don't mind that much uh i hope they go for entrainment on my rodom thinking that i was going for another earthquake um but Okay, Max Mind Storm. That is a weird move to have. Oh, I should also... I should update my text. There we go. Good, took it out in one hit. So, I think from here they either forfeit or we just, you know, take them out bit by bit. Because the uh, Swords Dance on the Landorus actually helped us a lot there against the Stack Attacka. Um, kind of happy with this game. I, uh, I was very intimidated by the uh yeah there we go battle was canceled two wins there we go okay continue battling all right let's try to break ourselves out of beginner tier oh we went all the way up to beginner two Helpalumps, rank two. Okay. Okay, this is a serious team now. Um, we're seeing the Grim Grimstarl, Seismitoad, uh, Kyogre, and Deity. This is a tough match to look at. Um, Evil Tall is good no matter what. Landorus struggles here. Reggie Drago struggles against Double Fairy and doesn't really do anything significant. Um, do we use Torn Tornado's Rotom might be our best bet with Evil Tall and Zacian in the back. Um, though honestly, Zacian doesn't do much without Sacred Sword. This is hard. This is a tough battle. We might lose this. I am bad against rain teams. I don't really know what to do about them. So, uh, good good luck, Halpalumps, and hopefully we can somehow pull this off. 
Okay, so immediately the Dialga and the Grim Snarl. Uh, we definitely we cannot prankster taunt the Grim Snarl. Uh, I would like to avoid setting up the Icy Wind for as long as possible, and we should go out into uh, Evel Tall here to try and snarl as many times as we can into that Dialga. Um, honestly, I probably should have led Evel Tall next to uh, Torn. Yeah, because uh, Dialga maxes 100% of the time. Um, we do get the speed drop. It, Dialga doesn't run physical. This is a special Dialga. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a scary game that I don't know if I'll be able to win. Okay, Tornadus is going to be faked out. Um, Max Quake wasn't going to affect Rotom anyway, so I'm going to go for a Icy Wind again, and a Snarl. Snarl is going to do almost nothing to Grim, but we want to drop the Dialga's special attack. And then next we can go for a, uh, okay, yeah, Light Screen's gonna come out. Um, as soon as they hit us with a Spirit Break, we can go for, um, the, uh, we can go for a play with Oblivion Wing to try to recover some HP. Um, but honestly, just getting the Snarls off on Dialga to, uh, make it as least threatening as possible is going to be best for me because it will slowly whittle away their max turns. All right, they're going to max Wormwind, hopefully into Evil Tall, but yeah, they're just trying to take care of Tornadus. I believe they're going to have Scarf Ogre in the back that is going to just absolutely um, crush any dreams of... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think we really have this battle in... This is looking rough. Um, but I'll give it my best shot. Uh, makes me regret not bringing Landorus because Dialga would have been so threatened. Um, but there's not much I can do. Um, hopefully if I can, hopefully a second Snarl will make it so that Dialga starts doing minimal damage. Um, that would be best, I guess. I am hoping that Grim goes for Spirit Break so that Will-O-Wisp will be having the damage and then they won't get the Reflect up. Um... Okay, Max Wormwind, who's this into? Rotom. Okay, Rotom eats that up. Um, and I think I have to start going for Airstreams. Foul play into Rotom? Okay. Um, not great. So I'm going to protect on Rotom for some recovery and go for another Snarl. Protect. Go for Snarl. As long as Eveltal can hang around until Kyogre comes out, we have Sucker Punch. So hopefully we will be able to greatly drop the power of... Kyogre. Okay, Dialga's gonna come out. Yes! Okay, we're hitting Kyogre with a Snarl. Okay, this is perfect. Uh, as Rotom goes for Protect. Okay. 
Now, they are at minus one special attack, which is the first important note. And the second important note is that we get a... F yeah, they weren't going for... Um, okay. We have a chance. Because while uh, Zacian can barely touch Kyogre, uh, the one thing we do have... Okay, actually, this would be really bad if they switched out Kyogre. Okay, how do we play around them switching out Kyogre? Um, I risk wasting my Dynamax. I think if I... I've just got a... I've got a Thunderbolt for damage and Sucker Punch for damage. Perfect. Okay. Drop their attack, so hopefully Rotom doesn't get KO'd. Thunder's gonna come out here, so this is a great position to be in. Because now Rotom is going to be guaranteed to survive. Okay. And Grim Grimmsnarl is still uh, burned. So... Rotom is going to eat that right up, and then if we go for a Max Lightning on Kyogre and a Snarl, I think there's a chance. An extremely stally and slowly burned out chance, because I don't think I really have any other way I can play this safely. Um, so Rotom, we're gonna Dynamax. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> this is a very scary place to be in. Veltal's fastest thing on the field. So interestingly, it is not Scarf Kyogre. So I'm a little confused why Tornadus was the big thing to look at. Okay, Scald on Veltal. Alright, so now Zacian comes out. And I think it is Zacian and Rotom... Okay, this might be Assault Vest Kyogre, based on how little damage it's taking. <sighs> I kind of want to go for a Protect on Zacian here on this next turn. Um... Oh, wait, no, they have Light Screen, of course. Okay, so I think my best bet is I'm going to Geyser the Grim Snarl and Behemoth Blade the Kyogre, because we've confirmed it's not Scarf Kyogre, so I should outspeed. And then from there, then what? Then we've got to find a- oh, they have another Pokemon in the back. Okay, Reflect's gonna go up. So this is going to neuter our Zacian. But they don't have Dynamax and we still do. Uh, I would kind of prefer if Rotom wasn't Dynamax so I can burn things. Um, but hopefully Grimmsnarl goes down to this Max Geyser, and... Okay, good. Now they can't get Light Screen up, so now Rotom is our strongest Pokemon. Welcome to VGC, where Rotom Wash is the strongest. <laughs> okay, so Dialga's gonna come out. And who else? Indeedy. Okay. I 
think we need to kill Undeity. In order to have any semblance of a chance. And this is going to be a special defense boost. So I'm going to geyser on the Dialga to see if I can take it out. And I'm going to Behemoth Blade onto Ndidi. Uh, just for damage. Um, because otherwise I am running a scary risk. Hope okay, it's gonna go for follow me. I imagine they're gonna try to take out Zacian with a earth power. So, hopefully... The sheer strength of Behemoth Blade combined with a Max Geyser is going to be enough to take Ndidi out. Okay, thank god. Okay. And Dialga's gonna go for Trick Room. Interesting. And now that the rain has stopped, and I believe my Dynamax is ending. I wonder... I think I should go for Will-O-Wisp for passive damage. And I guess protect my Zacian to try to keep it around. Because I would imagine they want to damage Zacian. And Rotom actually underspeeds Dialga, which is good news for me. Yeah, okay. So we got a free burn off. Um, Rotom's just gonna heal. Okay, now we play the miss game with Hydro Pump. And play rough. Pair of imperfectly accurate moves. And I think we somehow clutch to this. You know, an actual question of how, I believe, is a more complex. It's a life orb Dialga. Did I notice? I don't think I noticed that before. But there we go. And we end off today with three wins, zero losses. Thank you for playing. You, you had me terrified, health lumps. I did not think I would be able to do that, especially with that team. Thank you for continuing to play rank battle. Please take this ball mushroom. <laughs> I would like to check their battle team. Um. So, okay. What is this? This is an Assault Vest Kyogre. Uh, and I... Black Glasses, Foul Play, G-Max, Grimmsnarl. That's kind of terrifying. Seismitoad is a Pokemon I expected to see. I did not expect this Dialga. Automathic. Um... 2018 Legends and Avira. I feel like these two were gained from other places, while Automathic looks like this person genned their Pokemon. And I will say, I did not gen a single one of my Pokemon, so Jenners never win. That's a lie. And I actually have nothing against generating Pokemon. Um, but, let's just take a quick look at how I'm doing. I am... Let's see if we can get an update before I end it off. Um, but otherwise, from there, I think we will go ahead and... Be, oh, let's see. Pokeball tier. Let's go. All right. I will see you all tomorrow, and I do mean tomorrow, for more Pokemon. So, I hope you enjoyed... S subscribe if you're interested but otherwise take care have a wonderful day and well i hope indy's gonna go good bye now